try to make a little basic hip-hop drum beat, teach some people how to make it sound thicker and not so weak sounding on the kicks and snares and stuff. Uh, of course, I'm going to make it in Fruity Loops for you because that's the easiest and everybody loves it. People hating on it, but you can make anything in Fruity Loops that you can in pretty much any other program. It's not the equipment you got. It's all about the engineer, man. And uh, what we're going to do is make a little hip-hop beat. Here we go. So I loaded up... Uh, Three kicks and five snares, hi hat, cymbal, reverse cymbal, and a shaker. That's just a little basic drum kit. I just put them all together. Kind of similar sounds. When you layer them, they sound good. And uh, change the tempo to about 85, a little average hip hop tempo. And what we're going to do is add some swing to this. It just gives it kind of a groove to the beat. So, where if you see my cursor, I'm going to change it to 25%. If I can get it on there, yeah, 25%. And then uh first thing we're gonna do is little fill it in on a on the step sequencer here. I'm gonna put the first one, I'm gonna do that one and that one. And then uh I'm gonna go ahead and make this a eight beats loop here. So when you see up on the top left, we're gonna click on the little two dashes and drag it up until it changes to a an eight. And then I'm gonna just click the little button next to it so it repeats. If you have anything longer than eight beats, then it's gonna repeat anyways. So I'm gonna fill this in on the kicks like that. Let's see. Pretty simple, and then we'll put the snare in there. simple beat but it's kind of thin and weak sounding you got no EQs or any reverbs or anything like that so I'm gonna go ahead and put a little hi-hat in there too. go down to the hi-hat and click on fill each two steps but I like mine to change up so I'm gonna go ahead and right click the hi-hat channel and send it to piano roll and I'm gonna hit control a shorten these up a little bit and then control a again if you did if you deselected and I hold shift and drag Hold shift, click, and then drag on your hi-hats and drag them all the way over. And I just like doing this on mine. You can do it however you want. I'm going to put a little hi-hat change up at the end and then uh, turn the volume down on it. And then what we're going to do is hit Alt-Q on your keyboard and it's going to pop up with a quantizer. And then uh, I'm going to turn my start time all the way down because they're already where you want them or where I want them. And then we'll t turn the volume down here under the levels header. You can mess with the volume and see what it's doing down here on the velocity area. It's changing up and down, up and down, up and down. And this is just a basic hip hop quantizer. And change it down just to give it a little more humanized feel because if you're playing it live, they're not always going to be the same volume. And then uh, I also added one at the end if you didn't notice. Keep an eye on that. Just small chains up to subtle changes is what makes the beat hot. So we got something basic. And uh, for my kick, I'm going to change that to send that to the piano roll. And uh, at the end of it here. I'm going to go ahead and uh, turn my snapping to half step and then hit three on the top keyboard and it zooms in a little bit for us. So we'll see how we're going to change this one up. So I'm going to play it at the end. I'm going to put one on it, put another kick down here at the end, see how it sounds. It just changes up a little bit. You can turn the volume down on it, just to give it a little more feel. So it's banging now. I mean, it's not like the best beat ever, but it's got something to it. If you get a tight melody and all that, you get something going. So what I'm doing now is I just like shorten these up so I can see them easier from the uh, step sequence review. You can just click them, shorten them up a little bit. Makes it easier to view. You'll see. Shorten them up. You know what I'm saying? Right here you can see it. So we got a pretty weak sounding beat, but I mean, it's got some feeling and some rhythm to it. Of course, somebody could bust the flow to it, yeah.
Okay, so we got that. Now what we're going to do is uh, take this. See, I got kick one. And then I renamed all these accordingly to however I wanted them. Being organized helps you out a lot, too. This is a kick, too. It sounds a little lower and uh, got a little high into it. And there's another sounding kick that sounds a little different, but, you know, it's kind of similar. So I'm going to click on this channel right here, highlight the select the green, and then hit Control-C, and that copies the pattern. Or you can right-click it and hit and go to Edit, Copy. Then we're going to go to the Kick 2 channel and then hit Control-V, and then Kick 3 and Control-V. So we got... sound a little thicker now got a little more boom into it so now what we're going to do see how I, you can hold your right click click the top one you see how it goes in and out and then you can right click the next two so we're going to go make sure you have your kicks highlighted and then we'll go to the mixer go to insert two hit control l on your keyboard or you can click on the effect options but drop down menu here and then go to uh file or wait, it's link selected channels to this track. We're starting from this track. It does it in order from that way. I did to this track. I wanted all three of them on there. You can do them differently, but I'm just saving time. Sometimes you want to EQ different kicks different ways and cut them and boost them in different spots. But this is just going to be a quick tutorial. So here we go. So we got the kicks on there. and You'll see it. It's on the kick. Kick one on insert two. So we got that in there. And then we got our snare drum. It's a basic snare. I'm going to go ahead and send that to the piano roll also. Right click snare one. Send to piano roll. I'm going to hit control A. And then shorten these up. Make it easier to look at for me. You do what you do to make it easier for you. And I'm going uh, to. I want to change up the snare drum at the end or something. I want to see what I'm going to do to it. Yeah, I'm going to add another snare right here. I don't know if it's going to be on right now, but we'll see. No, oh, no, that's way off. Maybe right there. Nope. <laughs> yeah, there we go. And I'm going to put another one right here. You can turn, change the volume on it. See how you like it. Yeah, it's got a little groove to it, you know, just changing at the end of the loop makes it sound uh, a little better. So we're going to do the same thing as we did on the kick. Go on, select the channel, hit Control C or right click edit copy, and then go to snare 2, Control V, snare 3, Control V, snare 4, Control V, and then snare 5, do the same thing, Control V. So it's going to sound real thick now, but first what I want to do before I play it is go on. Click snare one, and then make sure you have it, the green dot selected, and then right click all the way to snare five or however many you have. You can get crazy with it if you want and put ten snares in there. It don't even matter, but being creative is all part of the process, so do what you do. So we got a snare drum on that. All five of them should be linked to channel three. I'm going to turn it down some. It's probably going to be loud. Yeah, it's got some bang into it now getting real thick so we got that and then go ahead and click your hi-hat channel here hit control L when you pop it up it's gonna link to insert 4 we got our hi-hat in there you can turn it up turn it down however you want it to bang it's all up to you so we got that and then go ahead and put your symbol on there I got me a symbol and a reverse symbol so a basic symbol you notice I have a delay on this symbol here. If you want to do that, you can click on your symbol channel and go to function. And then underneath function, it's the drop down menu says echo delay fat mode. I just clicked on classic. Turn my time up, my time knob, it's delay time. Turn that to four. The, the default time is a little offbeat sound, but it still goes with it. It's, I just use the four one. And then if you want to turn it up to eight, it's a little slower. 